welcome back to day 11 of the Sofa to Summit Challenge. Today, we've got leg day. We are doing the same workout as day eight, same exercise, same interval format. We're doing 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest between exercises. As always, you can determine how much rest you need, how much work you do. If you need to go back to that 30-30 interval, that's okay. Now, let's get into it. Go ahead and warm up for a few minutes. I'm doing some marches with a twist, followed by some squats. Then I'm doing some step ups on a curb, some incline push ups, finishing up my warm up with a split squat to use in the bench for balance. Today we're doing band squats. I'll show you what to do if you don't have a band. Walking lunges, single leg glute bridge, and single leg step down. We're doing 30 15 intervals for three rounds. And as always, check with your doctor before starting a new exercise program. The first exercise is a band squat. So I'm stepping on the band with both feet about shoulder width apart. My sh hands are at my shoulders. The band adds resistance, but you're doing the same form as a regular squat. Keeping your weight over your heels, driving those hips back. Now I'll show you some alternatives if you have a different type of band or if you don't have any band at all. This is another band squat. Essentially, it's the same exact thing. My feet are in the same position. My hands are in the same position. This particular band has handles on it, so the band doesn't stretch all the way across my shoulder like the last one. Here's another type of band you can use. It's essentially a resistance loop. I just have it on the lower part of my thighs, right above the knees, provide some good resistance. Of course, you're doing the same form on the squat. Okay, what do you do if you don't have a band but want a more intense exercise than just a squat? Well, you can do a squat jump. Essentially, it's a squat with a jump. Just how it sounds. If you can't jump, this is a good alternative. Total body extensions, swinging your arms back beside you, driving them up over your head as you go up on your toes. Okay, go ahead and rest for 15 seconds or shadow box and get ready for walking lunges. Okay, now we're going into a walking lunge where you step forward with your right leg, bend that right knee, go down into a lunge, and then without moving the right leg, move your left foot forward and repeat the same movement. This is a little bit more difficult than that split squat we did in week one. Your balance is a little bit more challenged here in the walking lunge. Perform this movement for 30 seconds. After you finish the walking lunge, rest for 15 seconds, and then get ready for the single leg glute bridge. All right, with the single leg glute bridge, my left leg is doing the work here. My left foot's on the ground. Now on the right foot and the right leg, you can extend that leg up in the air or cross your right foot over your left knee like I have. You want to lift your glutes up in the air as high as you can, pausing for a second before lowering. Again, in this example, my left leg, my left glute is doing all the work. Go ahead and take 15 seconds of rest and get ready to do the other leg. Same thing on the other leg. Now the right glute is doing the work so that foot stays on the ground. I've got my left foot over my right knee. Squeeze it up, hold it for a second and lower. Again, you can leave that left leg in the air if you'd like. We'll do this for 30 seconds. Okay, go ahead and rest for 15 seconds and get ready for single leg step downs. And promise me you won't try these moves at home because they are awful.
This is a single leg step down. It's important to train your body, especially to get your knees strong to come down a mountain or to come down stairs. It's not something that we might typically do exercises to train for, but that's why we have so many injuries. A lot of people have knee pain, so if you don't have knee pain, do this exercise. It'll help protect your knee and, and make it stronger. Okay, go ahead and rest for 15 seconds and get ready to do the opposite side. Okay, now we're doing the opposite leg for 30 seconds. Like I said, so many people have knee pain going down a mountain or stairs, so this will strengthen the knee. Now, if you already have knee pain, this may hurt you to go forward and down. So do what I'm doing in the lower left-hand corner. Turn your body sideways and go down with a side motion, and that may be better on your knee. Try it and see how it goes for you. Okay, great job on this round. You get a rest for 15 seconds. Go back to the beginning with band squats and get ready to start round two. Here's the entire workout. Once again, remember we've got these four exercises. Gonna do them in a 30-15 fashion. Work for 30, rest for 15 for three rounds. As always, it's your journey, so adjust this as necessary. Great job, you have done it. You have finished day 11. How are you feeling? Congratulations, my legs are feeling it. They're a bit jelly. I know you did well. Comment below, let us know how you did. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will see you tomorrow for day 12.